Question number four. A balloon rises at a steady vertical velocity of 10 meter per second. So 10 meter per second. U is given. An object is at rest relative to the balloon when the object is at a height of 120 meters above the ground. So therefore, let me write down the diagram. So I have the diagram like this. So the balloon is somewhere over here. This is the ground, and the balloon is here. And here, the distance between them is 120 meters. Okay. And then a ball is been object has been released. Okay. Air resistance is negligible. So while it has been released, the balloon is moving with an initial velocity of 10 meters per second. Okay, the moment it releases, what happens is particle. Particle takes up this speed, okay, and then, okay, the acceleration is equal to g. Acceleration is equal to minus g because I choose this as my x-axis and this as my y-axis. So definitely a equal to minus g, and this velocity, initial velocity, is u here. Okay, and then after some time, the particle goes like this. Velocity keeps on reducing. It becomes velocity becomes zero, and it falls down like this. Okay, what time to the nearest second does the object take to hit the ground? Okay, you need to find out what is the total time of flight. So how do we do? Use the expression S is equal to ut plus half a t square. What is S here? See, S is you are measuring it in this direction. So this will be minus 120. Minus 120 is equal to u. What is u? 10. And t, I do not know. t plus half into, what is the value of a? Minus 10. Minus 10 into t square. So what do I get over here? So I get this as 10 t minus 5 t square is equal to minus 120, right? So, as a result of this, let me simplify this. So, I get this as, uh, if I divide this by 5 universally, totally, all together, on all the direction, on the left hand side and right hand side, I get this as minus 24 is equal to 2t um, minus t square. Let me write it down once again, t square minus 2t minus 24 is equal to 0, okay? Now, let me factorize this. When I factorize this, what do I get here? I can now write this as, this is 6, 4, 74. I can write t square minus 60 plus 40 minus 24 is equal to 0. See, minus 60 plus 40 will be minus 2t. And this will be 6 into 4 will be minus 24. You got that one? Or this implies t minus 6 into t plus 4 is equal to 0. Thus, you get the values of t as t equal to 6 and t equal to minus 4. Minus 4 you have to discard because time cannot become negative, t should be equal to 6 seconds. So, the answer is C here.